Hi everyone, it's Suzanne from sunstamping.com. Um, thanks for joining me today. I have these um, really cute little um, squashed tubes. I know in the in the States um, and in Europe they call them uh, sour cream tubes, but I'm from Canada and there is no such thing as a sour cream that comes in a tube like this. Well, Western Canada anyway, I have never seen sour cream be put in these little tubes ever. So when they say sour cream containers, I have no idea what it's all about. Anyway, long story short, this is, I thought that this was going to be um, a really cute little demo um, for, you know, birthday presents or especially um, stocking stuffers. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been talking too much today. So um, these are super simple to make. And if you get yourself um, a, like a paper stack, uh, this is the Christmas one, and it actually is um, brand new to me, so um, I thought I would use some paper. Um, actually, it, it's a good size, let's say. <laughs> I didn't actually use, I was going to use uh, paper from this, but I actually chose something different, and I'll show you um, what that's all about. So um, I haven't filled these, but you can see the sticky tape on the inside here. I think you can see that in the light. Um, and I'm going to, I didn't want to waste the paper, so I just clipped it. So to give you an idea of what they're supposed to look like. And um, I'm doing something a little different with the, um, with the designer series paper that I did choose. So, put these aside. What I ended up wanting um, to do was create, um, this is a, a little window. I wanted to create a little window in, um, this uh, DSP. So this is from, oh my, I can't remember what it's from. Hang on two seconds. I'll flip through my catalog and see if I can find it real quick. Uh, it's not real quick either. Sorry guys. Um, no, I can't find it. It's something about Santa. I, anyway, it's a completely kooky. Here's my little cheat sheet. There it is, Santa and Company Designer Series Paper. So I chose this one. Can you see all the papers in here? Oh my God, they're so cute. This guy, I've used this on a hot chocolate in another video uh, container pouch. Really cute, I hope you can see that and this, the light isn't super glaring. So I chose to use this one because I wanted to create a window using my um, framelits, my star framelits die. So I went ahead and um, cut it my big shot is way over here on the other side of the room and you've probably seen that a million times before so um we're going to make it this way for this one and i have another one here that i wanted to do that way so this is the way the where you should put your um sticky tape so if you want to do it the long way, which is this way, I'll put that one on that side, right? This is the state where you put the sticky tape in. Now the extra sticky tape is for our um, acetate sheets. So I'll be adhering that there as well. And this one, I'm going to go around like that. So it's going to be the short little squash tube. And I'm going to put um, a bit of acetate on that as well. So first off the go, I'm going to just rub the acetate down so that my smudgy little fingers, I don't have little finger marks. And secondly, oh, glue dots, because if I put this guy in here and you can kind of see it still lifts up so on all the inside points I'm going to put a glue dot you could use glue dots or I I'm not exactly sure um, I'm sure that snail wouldn't hold this it's pretty it's putting a lot of pressure on the adhesive so glue dots were my first thought in there um, but I'm sure maybe fast fuse might work which is our new um, paper or sorry uh, adhesive 
and I wanted to spare you all the ridiculous amount of time to watch me put the this large amount of sticky tape on here but you're still I'm gonna make you suffer through watching me take it off all right haha <laughs> And there she is. Give that a good press. Light wiping down there. So I think that's going to solve the lifting problem. That's great. Okay, so how this works is, because this is the short squat one, I'm going to do the, um, I'm gonna make the tube first. Oh, and it's a little harder with acetate. <laughs> Me and my bright ideas. I always get new products in and go, oh, I need to use that, and that would be really cool. To do a different spin on it. Okay, so tube. Really easy. Then I'm going to take the sticky tape off. Zink. And give it a squash. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, <clears throat> I'm so lucky because my lovely sister went to Paris this summer and brought me back all these taffies and toffees. And this is a ridiculously large bag, hey? But I'm gonna save it because it's from Paris. Um, and so she brought me all these little goodies and treats and stuff. And because I'm on a diet, aren't I always, um, I'm going to stuff them in here <laughs> so that I won't eat them until Christmas time. Let's put one of those in there. Oh, that's pretty colorful. Okay. So I'm going to get my little... Okay, so the opposite way, and seal it. So I can see, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Um, I can see, uh, you know, you could put a ton of little guys in here. You could put M&Ms, you could put, um, you know, sweeties. This um, designer series paper, so cute, but it's not specifically Christmas, right? So, I mean, it does have little stars on it, but doesn't necessarily mean that you have to. Okay, so for the big one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. You guys get two projects. I can show you actually how quickly you can do two projects at once. There won't be any stamping today though. So for the, I'm going to do the same thing on these guys. I'm going to just lay some glue dots down real close to that inside um, point on the stars. Those little star framelits are so cute. They came with, um, I actually got them when there was the Big Shot uh, bundle um, sale going on where you got a Big Shot and you got these extra little bundles for 15% um, off. So the star one with the stamp set, which was in the Christmas catalog, um, beautiful. Sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me here while I do all my glue dotting. No one's getting in here. Not even in the middle of the night when I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> I figure I'd hide all the candies from my own self. I can't wait to try some of these Parisian um, candies, though they look really good. I suppose if I have any left over, I might have one. Listen to me. I'm on a diet. I shouldn't even have one. <laughs> I'm on one of those low carb thingies, so I'm just having 
sweet tooth cravings all over the place. Okay. Here we go. Placing right above. Oh, I give it a good squish. Oh, I hope this works. Okay. So, again, the same procedure. Taking off and making the tube. Oh, it's a little tough. All right, it's a little tough, folks. <laughs> oh, this one might not turn out so great. Oh, well. I think once I got it in, me and my bright ideas, right? Actually, it might not be so bad if it's... Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's like... Uh, out there in video land. Doing everything hard. Okay. I can see where the acetate ended. But that's okay because it'll be squashed maybe. So, okay. Uh, hurry up, stop talking, Sue. I'm trying to make my videos a little less jibber jabby. Remember, I got a report card when I was in elementary school, and it said Suzanne would do fabulously well if she didn't talk to her neighbor all the time. She's still the truth. how many I can get in there. Try all these nougaty ones. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's why I don't put a lot of the treats and sweeties and stuff like that in, or cookies or whatever, in my projects because I can't have them in the house. All right. So that's pretty easy, hey? And that's a really cute little project. Um, now, I have a little bit of stamping. I'm still going to stamp um, or, you know, put um, a nice little greeting on. That one can go there. That's Hello Honey. And I got the stamp set from Chalk Talk. And I'm using this one. And. I didn't, I don't actually have, I think it's a one and a quarter punch. I don't actually have that. So I had to, again, use the big shot in my circle framelit, but it's absolutely perfect. And this is the designer, no, it's the artisan label punch. And, oh, there we go, dimensionals. One on the back of that one, and one on the back of this one. Quick, painless. You can probably do if you were having a Christmas party or something like that. You could probably do a ton. Put it off to the side. All right, so that's my quick and easy little stocking stuffer kind of ideas. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're looking for any of the products, um, I have them listed below in my blog, sunstampin.com. I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks so much for joining me. Bye.